How about Cuba? I got a tremendous Cuban vote in Florida. Tremendous Cuban vote. China is building military places and forts and everything, installations. They're building military in Cuba, 71 miles off our coast. And the fake news doesn't even talk about it. When I heard this, when I heard this, and for Cuban Americans, with that happening, you can forget about ever going back to Cuba. China's taking over Cuba. And Biden doesn't do anything. The reason he doesn't, because he's compromised. He's taken in so much money from China that he's afraid because they know how much money they've given. And he can't have them reveal that to the courts and to Congress and to Jim Jordan and Jamie Comer. He can't have them reveal. So he's sitting there. He's a totally compromised president. He's he is a Manchurian candidate. OK. Now, think of it. Can you believe they are building military installations in Cuba and hardly anybody? When I heard that about three months ago, I said, this is the biggest story. This is going to blow up. There's no way. I will get them out within 48 hours. I think within 48 hours. I think within 48 hours. They will leave. And I have a very good relationship with President Xi, which was greatly disturbed with the China virus. I must be honest with you before that. You know, we made the greatest trade deal ever with China. They buy $50 billion worth of our product. And we took in, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars of tariffs. No other president took in 10 cents. Hundreds of billions. We did great with China, but I had a lot of respect for him. He had a lot of respect for me and a lot of respect for our country. They no longer respect our country. You saw Janet Yellen the other day bowing and bowing, bowing. Can't do that. They they don't respect that. They want to they want to deal with toughness. They want to deal with the strength, and that's the only way you're going to make a deal with them. They that they are ripping our country to pieces. That they're, they're beating us economically. You know, um, China was going to take over in 2018 for 25 years. The economists will tell you for 25 years they've been saying China will overtake the United States in 2018 and it was happening it was going to happen in 2018 until I came along we doubled them up we put taxes and tariffs on steel they were dumping steel we put 100% and 50% tariffs on steel and we saved our the people that like me the most in this country are people that have steel anything to do with steel because we saved we wouldn't have one open Steel mill. If we had to fight a war, we need steel. If we have to fight a war with China, we need steel. You know who we need the steel from? China. Let's go. We're fighting a war with China. Let's buy our steel from China. How does that work?